Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. This is the last Father's Day card with a video tutorial for 2022. I'm using the Whiskey Business, which has carried over from last year into the new catalogue, and it's on page 82. This is a really quick and simple card. It's just some simple stamping, a little bit of colouring, and that's it. Obviously this rectangle is longer than anything that's on offer so I'm going to show you how I extended it. It's a little bit longer so I'm going to show you how I made that longer. So these are the decalled rectangle dies. The card base is in early espresso and it measures four and one eighth by eleven and three quarters. In metric, that's ten point five by twenty nine centimeters, and folded in half. Then, for your matte layers, you have two in Mango Melody, and one is for the front of the card and one for the inside. These measure five and a half by three and three quarters so in metric that's 14 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters i have two pieces of basic white cardstock as well and this one we're going to be cutting with the deckled edge rectangle die and this one i'm just using it plain for the inside um, so this measures five and three eighths by three and three eighths in metric that will be 13.5 by 8.5 centimeters. The inks I'm using are Early Espresso, uh, Smoky Slate, Mango Melody, and Versamark ink, plus a blending brush. And I'll need, also need some white embossing powder. And if you have a dust buddy, then a dust buddy as well, and a heat tool because we need to emboss this. We also need the Mac O Melody Stamping Blend Combo and a light smoky slate ben blending pen to ground the whiskey bottle and glass. And lastly, some linen thread. I'm going to start by embossing my sentiment. So I'll need my Versamark ink and the sentiment called Whiskey Business. Make sure my thing is straight and stamp it over to the left a little bit so then I can tie my linen thread on that end. Bring in my embossing powder. They're called the Basic Essentials embossing powders and they come in a pack of three so you get black, clear and white. So I'm using the white. When you're embossing you don't have to wave your heat tool around. Um, just hold it in one position and you will see the embossing powder bubble up as it sets and melts and then you just work your way down. Then I'm just going to wind the linen thread round a few times. Make sure I've got plenty uh, room to work with. Tuck that in. and tie a knot and then trim the pieces off and set it aside to use later. Now I'm going to glue the inside of my card together so I'm gluing this basic white piece on top of the Mango Melody one leaving an even border all round then I'll glue it to the inside of the card 
that's why um, I'm not worried about doing it now because I'm stamping in the centre uh, of the card and I'm not stamping off the card so I can glue that straight away. Then take the sentiment straight up, you're the best. And I've lined it up. That's all you need and that's the inside done. Now I'm going to glue this uh, Mango Melody piece first to the card print. I'll bring in my smoky slate to stamp the whiskey bottle. Then stamp the whiskey glass next to it and one on a scrap piece of paper. Now I need to colour in the images so um, I'm using Mango Melody to colour in the whiskey inside the decanter and the glasses and then this one I'll use just to ground the whiskey bottle and the glasses so it doesn't look as though it's hanging in the air. So I'll speed this up. So I'm going to follow the shading on the a uh, stamp ground that then fussy cut this whiskey glass there isn't a die for it but it's easy enough to cut now I'm ready to die cut my elongated decorate tangle. I bring in my platform, platform one, platform two, the thin die adapter, the base cutting plate, platform three, place my cardstock on top and the deckled edge. Stick that down so it doesn't move. Then I want to move my plate, so I only want to put the plate sort of like that. And then when I roll it through, I'm not going to roll it right the way through because then it will leave a mark on the cardstock. So I'll roll it through so that it's just short of it, okay? So bring in my machine. it's better to feed it through this way so it doesn't slip so you see I'm just going to go and that's the end of the plate so I'm not going to go all the way through to the end now I want to reposition my die so I carefully take that off and put it in that way I don't want the washi tape to mark my uh, cardstock, so I'll stick it outside. Then move this down and have the plate this way up, okay? Bring in the machine, turn it round, feed it through. And this time it doesn't matter because you can, ooh, should have done it the other way round. Did it hurt? No, that's fine. It's just caught a little bit so I'll just snip it off. Bring back my card base and apply adhesive to this
have to mention those on the whiskey glass. And put it in front of the decanter. Do the same with this piece here for the sentiment. And glue that on top here. Bring back the Mango Melody ink and just pop a twist of lemon there. There are other sentiments on here for you useful for um, a birthday card. Um, cheers to you, sending you an old fashioned birthday card, your top shelf, straight up you the best and being a dad is a whiskey business and there's also wood panelling there so there's lots of possibilities so that's my final card with the video for Father's Day which is this Sunday so I'll have one on Sunday and I'll see you again next week thanks for watching bye <laughs>